All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So, yes, I got it up on time. The new mic came in. Uh, I ordered it super fast, like super extremely chocolatey fudge covered fast. And it got here on time, so I am very appreciative that I was, uh, despite me missing the Vime and Wild live stream this past Saturday, I was still able to get you guys your Monday content because I was kind of worried about that. So I'm probably still going to be adjusting the mics and such, but uh, hopefully everything goes all right. So uh, this, uh, we're playing them Cyber Angels, and uh, hopefully we just get right back on track. Like we got over this hump as quicker than you know you would expect for you know my mic breaking and not even being able to record anything, but. Uh, yeah, it was a little bit pricey, but uh, maybe I could write it off on my taxes. Uh, you're like, oh, you're fine. You're a YouTuber. You have, like, hella bank, so you'll be able to go ahead and uh, and uh, make that paper, and then you'll be fine. Like, um, no, actually, I, I don't make a lot. So uh, I actually want Ben 10. No, I want you, because if this card is ritual summoned, I can add one ritual card, spell card. So you're, you're actually, because uh, I'm going to tribute the, the Tef knew it. I kind of opened up, eh, you know? Uh, I don't didn't really want to draw the the labradite, but it's cool. So we're gonna and summon you, attributing you. So both of y'all go off. So you're gonna go ahead and summon me that labradite from my hand because I believe I'm only running one. Because I was like, I really don't need to run all the multiples. I don't need to run multiples. That's fine. I mean, I'm not you know summoning for my deck, which is like woo plus, but it's fine. Uh, then I could just go into ultimate Zulkin set and then you know win. Because that's, that's just nice. Uh, or I could go into M7 and recycle, but there's really nothing to recycle. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and go to Ultima Tzolkin. I'm still playing the Heretics because I think that going to Ultima Tzolkin is like really cool. So going to go to that because, of course, I get to summon like one of arguably one of my favorite monsters in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! Crystal Mass. So should I summon Crystal Mass or should I summon Void Ogre? I think I'm going to summon Crystal Mass. I was thinking about maybe Void Ogre, but no, nah, I think Crystal Mass will suffice. Uh, if there's something threatening me, I do have the... Well, I guess I could have went into Void Ogre and negated any, uh, any, uh, spell or, spell or trap, and then I had to Solemn Strike, but we're good. I just really wanted to go into Crystal Myth. <laughs> Plus, I'm not sure how I feel about sending this Twin Twister right now. Uh, I kind of don't care if these two get Twin Twistered, but I do care if I lose my Twin Twister, because I might be able to pop some back row with it. The only problem is that it's a quick play spell, so if I set it for Ultimaya, it's stuck. Nope, my opponent's gonna go ahead and scoop, so... Mmm, don't know what you were playing, but you kind of scooped it up real quick, so I guess we'll go ahead and get another dual bear back. <sighs> so, I dropped the deck back down to 40. I'm not liking the pot of cupidity, and there's just so many things that Cyber Endles can do that it's re the deck gets really tight at times. It really does. I'm playing the, the Christia, because I kind of feel like I can, uh, you know, bust out the plate to Christia. I drew the freaking arch, the one, the Christ one Christia, and the one freaking Labradite again, so that's just great. <laughs> But uh, hopefully we'll be able to do some uh, some nice plays, so I can just go ahead. Hmm. So I could grab the Cyber uh, Cyber Ender Ritual, and then play the the Sanctuary, and then pitch the Sanctuary for the other card, and then have those, and then have that spell in the graveyard for later. You know, just deck thin a little bit. Like this hand, this hand is not the greatest, not at all. If I get four fairies in the graveyard, then Christia is ready to go, but I'm just not sure if I'm going to be able to get that. So I can get Ben 10 and Ida 10, get those two set up. But yeah, this is, this is probably a really anticlimactic start. If I wanted to, I could probably vanish the Machine uh, Angel Ritual to block my mana from being destroyed, and then summon the other mana to get to search and make these two into an XC, but eh, eh. Anyway, the mic was expensive. I uh, actually also got a pop filter. I'm not sure if you... I feel affect how you guys hear, but a little bit more kind of closer, but one step closer to being professional here on the channel. Uh, now, really, I just need to move the hell out, get my own uh, house or a little apartment, and then, uh, you know, cover the wall with, like, uh, some filters, because you can probably still hear, hear a little bit of the background noise. Of course, I apologize every time, but, you know, what are we going to do about that, right? Uh, I wonder if he's going to crash the Manju. That might be best. Oh, uh, no, I don't know. I don't know. Seems like he's playing BLS, so... Uh, interesting, interesting. You're gonna be able to say you can ritual summon first. Like, looks like it. I didn't open up too hot, so I'm gonna go ahead and bust out that uh, that black luster soldier already. So never mind. He's not even gonna need to crash. He can just run my ass over. So I think I might go ahead and protect. Uh, I don't think he has any effect. This card destroys monsters by nothing to hook damage equal to the monster's original attack. So I think I'm gonna just go ahead and protect. Now, if you want to crash, 
more power to you. I might crash if I were you. I would crash because you don't want me to get another level four and then make a XC to handle you. Like that, that could definitely be a, uh, a problem. So I guess he's debating on whether he wants to crash or not. But uh, I had a pop filter with it. Got the mic, which is actually a blue Yeti. I had a blue snowball, which is like, I'd say the second best, but this is the best best, uh, which is great. You know, I probably this is gonna have to, you know, eventually upgrade. So he decided not to crash into me and then, you know, that's probably gonna be his downfall. So, uh, I got Ida 10, which is the searcher for the ritual, and then I can go ahead and grab me the ritual spell. Yeah, it'd be nice if I could go ahead and get both, you know, get both. I can go ahead and, uh, ritual summon by tributing the Labradite, which I didn't want to draw. Like I said, the number generator is probably going to make me draw over the, over the oh, an actual Herotics. I can make a Castell, spin him back, that'd be two. Uh, I would love to get my, my, my Pixie, but I don't, I don't see me getting that anytime soon. But I could just go ahead and ritual summon for uh, Ida 10, get the, get the search, and then just attack twice over him. So we'll go ahead and just put you back. You're gone, so you should have crashed. Definitely should have crashed. Play this. I'm summoning this by tributing this. I'd love to activate Ida 10 effect. Go ahead and get me a Machine Angel Ritual. And then hopefully I can go ahead and get more set up. Like, that's the problem. That I'm not too deep into my deck and my plays right now. Like, it's nice that I'm, I'm at advantage right now. But in the end, I mean, it's hard to tell what's going to happen. You know? For all I know, this man's just gonna drop an honest on me. So, maybe. <laughs> he said he's good. His shit's like earth and dark and light, I think. Like, you wanna play the honest? Play the honest. I really don't care. It's not gonna change too much, because the Castell, he served his purpose. I have tends to just kinda see me here. I kinda wish I opened up with Erotic. You know, I'm running the, the three level sixes, the. I don't remember the specific name, but the level sixes, I'm running three of each and the freaking uh, Rotic spell card. Once I get that, I can make the ultimate to Zulk and make plays, but I want to try this version out. Of course, we have a lot of the new Cyber Angels. Who, uh, we got the level A, we got the level, I think the level 10, I want to say. The, I forgot her name, Vishnu, I think. So there's a lot of things with the Cyber Angels, but I was like, eh, I kind of want to do the ultimate to Zulk and plays with the Herodixes, but I need them. I need the Herodix. I keep on, uh, you know. Maybe I should run two libraries just so I don't number generate because I'm going to keep on opening up it. I mean, at least it's level six so I can tribute it off, so that's nice. But, you know, it's not one of the best draws. It's, 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 it's a pretty dead draw. So, pulling the cards and attack, send this card from your hand, change transition. If you're summoned, you can bench this card from your as one of the monsters required for the ritual summon. Like, okay. So, you're going to go ahead and send Curry Ball to block my attack. Like, if that's what you want to do. Alright. Go ahead and get a search. You summon monster sent from Anvil with that plus count, like some six months turn you move to add one ritual spell. Okay. That's pretty power. I mean I can always just keep on getting searches. Like right now I could just go ahead and send this to get another search, but I think I'll hold off for now. It's just, you know. And it's still ritual mechanic. I still need the ritual monster, the ritual spell, and the the uh and the tributing, so it's kinda eh, you know. It's kind of still kind of in. Now didn't open up too hot. Definitely didn't open up too hot. I only got two fairies, so busting out Chrissy right now is going to be still going to be kind of difficult. Still going to be kind of difficult. You know, if I can get that like preparation of rights or something like that, then you know I need I need to get deeper into my deck. <sighs> I would love to have the Ida ten Ben ten combo, but I didn't open up like that. Nor the Herotics, so. But I'll probably be changing. I'll probably be uh, getting deeper. I just, I'm still not the big fan of Pot of Cupidity. I mean, I I'm, I have terrible luck, and for all I know, I'll just end up banishing everything I want to do. Then, of course, I could run, I could run, like, Harold. He's level 6 and, you know, great at negating shit, so he has synergy. So, Fira, there's a lot of things you could do with Cyber Angels, you know. They're not, like, they're a great ritual deck. They're not, like, Necros based, but, you know, yeah. Anyway, the mic, I think uh, the whole thing together, I think, cost me 150 bucks. The mic, the, the pop filter, and then uh, it just happened to be that my headphones that my headphones broke, so my friend let me borrow these headphones 
because my headphones broke, broke those headphones. So then after I broke those headphones, I had to pay him back for the headphones that he allowed me uh, borrow, but pretty much had because I bought them off him. Uh, Melvin, we went down to the pawn shop to get him a, a, a little notebook. Uh, there happened to be some headphones there. I was like, fuck it, something's better than nothing because I was using like little earbuds, you know, some shitty ass fucking headphones, earbuds, like what you listen to on your cell phone, whatever. Got another pair of headphones. Those headphones ended up breaking. Got a 30 day warranty on those. I'm gonna take those back. Um, maybe get me some new earrings. If you guys don't know, my ears are actually pierced, so that might give me some new earrings. Uh, mom wants to give me some new earrings. My birthday's actually coming up. It's actually June 8th, which is a Wednesday, so my birthday's actually coming up, turning 22. But, um, so I'm gonna take those back. With the, the package, they're like, hey, you get the Blue Yeti uh, microphone, the pop filter, and you get some new headphones. I was like, sure, you know what, I need some new headphones anyway, so got some new headphones. Rennie, from birthday, actually, since he's got this job and uh, he, he's making the, the, the bank, he, he actually wants to, uh, to show how much he appreciates me, because I've, I've done a lot for Rennie over the, the last couple of years, you know. I've helped him out when he's been down. Like, Rennie wouldn't even be living with me if he wasn't friends with me, of course. It's not like he knew my mom or anything like that. He had to be friends with me. So, uh, to, you know, to show his appreciation for me, he actually wants to get me some, uh, some beats. So, that's nice, you know, some absolutely great, you know, headphones that are totally worth it, that won't break on me and be, you know, the goodness. I mean, I'm totally for that. So, I got these headphones for when I left the computer and the beats for just, you know, general purposes would just be great. It would be fantastic. I guess my opponent's gonna scoop it up. I guess he's done. Like, I, I, and, and this duel is going to end really anticlimactically because that's not like these two cards are like the end all be all greatness, but I guess you don't want to play anymore. You're timed out, so that's kind of lame. Uh, get another duel. Be right back. Alright, got us another duel. I will go second because I can go in going second. Alright, yeah, I got me my little cute petite angel. Uh, this opening hand is not bad. You know, this, this hand has got some surge, it's got some power, it's got some plays. Uh, really, uh, just, you know, I can summon Petite Angel, get my ritual spell. Really, I would love to draw into a spell card, like that, or something to set. Like, that's what I need to draw into, something to set, because, sure, I can go ahead and do the heroic plays like that. Oh my god, another ritual deck? Like, hello? Like, are you also playing the Cyber Angels? I would not be surprised. I mean, it's pretty popular. It's pretty popular. <laughs> But no, uh, I, I don't make, yep, yep, it's also Cyber Angels. I don't make a lot of bank off of YouTube, of course. Wow, so he's just gonna search that and end. Ah, uh, Drew the Christia, see? Alright, so. Uh, we'll go ahead and summon the Petite Angel. A lot of people are saying, like, yeah, you need to do this with Petite Angel. She's better. Start off with, for your field spell, you know, return to summon back to the Petite Angel. She's when she's summoned, period. Mind you, only when he's normal summoned her flip, not special summon, so, yeah. Uh, there's a difference in, uh, level there. So, there's really no point in me doing the Herotic Tefnuit play right now, just because I don't have anything to set, and if possible, it'd be great if I can go ahead and uh, bust out, so I am tributing the, the Ben 10, and I'm going to be summoning the item 10? Nope, I did that backwards, I did that backwards, I did that backwards, so I guess it's pretty everybody, yep, I did that terribly backwards, that was, that was bad, that was bad. I meant to summon the Ida 10, the Ben 10, but I did it backwards, so that's awesome. So all I got is a, a 28 Ben 10. That's great. No, I wanted to tribute the Ben 10, summon the Ida 10, get the double search, but I guess the plays aren't terrible. Just fuck me, you know? Just fuck me. I still might be able to win this duel, but I, I, that was my bad. I really wasn't paying attention. I'm not made out of money. I ended up putting it on my credit card, and I'm going to have to slowly make payments off on that, so that's great, like, uh, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with building up my credit, right? So, uh, he'll probably proceed to kick the living shit at me, because if I would've done the play the right way, then I would've got to search off of Ben 10, I would've got to search off of, uh, Ida 10, and then probably done another additional ritual play, you know, I, I probably would've had a lot more plays, uh, you know, like me, he got the Cyber Angel and the Manju, a lot of searching, he's got resources for days, and he'll probably end up doing the correct rituals, I mean, the correct way, because I, I misplay. I misclicked. <laughs> I mean, he's probably assuming that I did, because he's like, why the fuck would you ever summon Ben 10 and send Ida 10? You should have did it the other way around. Well, see, he's doing, he did it properly. Yeah, yeah. You did it properly. I misclicked. <laughs> yep, yep. So, go ahead and search your uh, Sephira plays. Yep. Like, sure, I mean, it's nice to get him a thousand, but... And I'll be all, I ain't gonna give me fucking resources. Like, I negged on my play, on my end. So that's, that's not good. <laughs> that is not great at all. 
So I would not be surprised if uh, he busts out Sephira, goes into like, you know, M7, gets your resources back. Like, he, he's gonna have fucking plays for days, get another Ben 10, Ben 10 once per turn. Like, look at that. See, he did the proper and got the pre prep. Like, I got Herald. So that's, I mean, I got, I mean, I got Arthur Christie. That's nice. Just, I gotta have enough fairies. All I got is, what, three right now? Well, one in the grave and then two on the field. So, I can, like, what, summon Manju and then crash? Like, I, I, I went super neg on that one. Like, that wasn't, that wasn't great at all. That wasn't great at all. I, I fucked up. I fucked up. So there's Sephira. I'm not sure which one I like better. I'm gonna say I like Harold because I like the lockdown, the control. And Sephira's nice, but I don't get the effect turn the end phase. I mean, who's to say that Sephira's still gonna be on the field? When I'm doing plays like Ultimate Actors Oaken and M7, who's to say that she's still gonna be on the field during the end phase? You know, so. Yep. Yeah. So, like I said, I would not be surprised if this is the end of the duel. Because, oh, I gotta choose which monster I wanna send. Yeah, I forgot about that. Donkey. And look at that, look at that. Like, it just beat her out the ass. Like, I, I can protect from destruction. But, uh, I'm just not sure if I'm gonna be able to, uh, survive till the end of the twi till the end of this turn. I'll banish to prote protect, and then she'll go ahead and attack. The Pierce? Yeah, it's Pierce, so that's not relevant. I mean, I survived, so that's nice, but, I mean, look at these beaters. Like, unless I draw Regeki, like, I could summon Manju, crash, get the search, throw the Regeki, and then, of course, I mean, even throw the Regeki, still got the Cyber Machine Angel, so I'm still gonna be in tr trouble. He's gonna get his resources back off of Dokkany, he's gonna get his shit off of Sephira, so... I'm just outpaced, I misplayed it, and, uh, and, uh, and I'm outpaced. <laughs> I can summon Manju, crash, get to search, crash, then I'll have four. Special summon here, uh, I mean, Archer Christia. Archer Christia will do its thing, but, yeah. It's just not the best for how I opened right now. Now I draw the fucking seal when I really don't need it. I really, I needed to draw into a, uh, into a, uh, one of the Cyber Angels so I could search the opposite with Manju or, or my ritual spell and search the opposite with Manju, but nope. Nope, nope, nope. So, yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. We'll go ahead and get another duel. Be right back. All right, I like how this guy's name. I guess I'm assuming this is his Skype name, so you get Adam. It's just weird. It's just weird that you know you put your Skype name like that. Am I going first? Yeah, I'm going first. All right. No, I'm good. I'm good. I said I'm not even gonna be dueling you. I'm not even gonna be dueling you that long. Like, I'm not even gonna be dueling you that long. I take a little bit slow. I'm gonna put the him. So I'm not gonna do that play now. Maybe next turn. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't know any guy named J Mac Forever. Off the top of my mind. Old Sark. All right. Old Sark still pretty powerful card. I mean, you even out two turns and you get whatever you want. It's just you know how fast you go. Is can you wait two turns? So. Playing Harpies. Alright. Get that channel to two turns later. I'm not even sure if what's going to be happening two turns from now. So it's kind of, you know, smeh. Smeh. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I should have did Petite Angel so he could kill my Petite Angel. And then I might be able to bust and send two. Yeah, I, I probably would be able to send two. So. I'm just so used to just Manju's just being the end all be all great summon, opening summoner. No, I definitely should have done the Petite Angel. Because Petite Angel would have been the one to get killed. It would have been my graveyard. I probably would have went Ritual Sanctuary, Send, and then did my Ritual Play, so that's two already. So, uh, I could go ahead... Huh, I could Twin Twister, pitch the, the, the Sanctuary, or pitch the Petite Angel. That's two already. Then play, return those two, then summon her and get a search. Yeah. I kind of want to pop this card because I don't want him to, to stop me, and even if it is, uh, what's it called? I mean, I might. It, like, it really depends. It really depends. Or I can summon her, get the search, hold on to the play for later, because she's probably going to end up dying anyway. And then just pitch the, the Sanctuary. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and do that, because she's going to end up dying anyway. I can get a double search out of her. Okay, it was just a mere force. Go ahead and summon this. Uh, I want Ida 10, right? Because this card's ritual summon. I get to add a ritual spell. Yeah. And 
we'll go ahead and play. So I'm gonna add a 10, sending Tefnu to it. Summon. And then, of course, we're gonna go for that powerful crystal mass. Like, that, that's a given. So search me this. And then Crystal Meth will, of course, be able to uh, negate the Harvest during the end phase, so that is nice. So we'll go ahead and go into Ultima Jizulkin. And then set the Sanctuary. Ultima will go off, summon the Crystal Meth. And uh, get it in. Simple as that. So that was a terrible play. So, uh,. Yep, just gonna be paying. I mean, I don't use my credit cards too often. I actually have really great credit. Like, I think my credit score is like seven, seven fifty nine. Like, it's it's really great. Got three credit cards, or you know, I pay them off, so it, it's it's all good. So, you get my harpist, and I'm be like, no crystal meth. Like, no, no search, <laughs> no search, no thank you. Go ahead. <laughs> Head on to my uh, sanctuary. There's really no reason to play it. I mean, if Petite Angel dies, then you know I can go ahead, set it, let Ultima go off, activate it, then return to summon the Petite Angel again, get another search. So we're still good. You know, I got the machine the angel ritual set and ready to go, if need be. Yeah, MST my machine angel ritual. Like that's fine. You already know I searched it, but I guess you thought maybe it was something else. It's actually surprising that the machine, that she's still on the field, so, yes. No. <laughs> um, Stardust would be pretty good right now to protect from getting wiped. Because if he draws a Regeki, I'm going to get my butt wiped, because they're all going to die. So, something Stardust is pretty good. I'm, I'm not going to put her in defense, because I'm, I'm kind of really want to incentivize you actually killing my uh, Petite Angel. So, so Harpy Lady's dead. Hit you for 300, and then you're gonna be like, oh my god, I'm getting my butt kicked by the petite angel. Gotta do something. Is there any re reason for this, uh, this sanctuary right now? Not really. I got nothing to pitch, and I guess I could return, but there's nothing I really want to summon right now. I got four? Three. Three. Four. Four. So, no, not really. Just go ahead. Got the Stardust just in case you top deck Regeki. I got the Crystal Meth, so if you're gonna get your freaking Harpist right now, you can summon it, pay cost, then I'm just gonna negate you with Crystal Meth, because there's no way in fuck I'm gonna allow you to get that. So, so I'll go ahead and pay cost, and I'm just gonna be like Crystal Meth negate. Yep, there you go. Simple as that. It's too easy. It's too easy. So. Uh, I know Lithium, I believe, uploaded more Cyber Angels, Cyber Angel video today, reading that uh, 48 card Pot of Cupidity shit, but I'm not doing that. Like, I don't like Pot of Cupidity. I know it's a Pot of Greed, but I, I just can't stand the, the, the Banish 10. It's just, you, you banish too much of your combo pieces, and I'm not for running a fucking 50 card deck either, so. Guess I won't be doing that, but I'm just not sure how I feel about what I'm doing with the Cyber Angels, you know? Uh, do I want to create the Heretics in? Do I not? Do I want to run anything like Sephira or, or Herald and run pre-prep? Do I run and run Donkini? Do I run and run uh, Bishnu? I'm not. I'm just not sure. So, like I said, we still got more time for this deck to be on uh, daily duels on the polls. And if need be, you guys can always vote for it to get another month. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it got more and more and more cards because, you know, Alexis is currently on the anime, so... Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and call an episode of Daily Duels, render it, upload it, get it, try to get it to you on time. It's not a long one, apologize, it's not, it could be a little bit longer, but, you know, it takes time to render and upload, I want to get this to you on time, that, you know, despite the mic breaking, uh, you know, I ordered the fast shipping, uh, I signed up for Prime, uh, Amazon Prime, they got, I got, you know, free two-day shipping, but they were, like, reduced one day, and I was like, reduce one day, get it to me on fucking Monday. FedEx dropped it off, hooked it up, and, uh, here we are, so, uh, anyway, uh, the things that I do for you guys, right? Things that I do for you guys, because I could just be like, oh, mic broken, you know, uh, wait wait a week, wait a month before I get a new mic, but no, no. So, got to you guys, I'm going to pursue the quality. We kind of, in a way, upgraded our mic, uh, reluctantly, but we ended up doing it anyway. So, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for all support, thank you guys for being so understanding, and, uh, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow.